Sale Samurai Review. Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creator Beat and welcome to my channel where we show you how to make money online with low content products such as KDP low content books and Etsy products like digital planners and printables and digital downloads. So if you like, you can hit the big red subscribe button down below to be notified about any other videos I make. So this is a review about Sale Samurai. The normal price for Sale Samurai is $9.99, but with any of these, you get three days free when you sign up. So why do we use Sale Samurai? Well, we use it to help us with Etsy. Now, Etsy is a fantastic platform. It's the number two platform that people trust to actually make purchases after Amazon. And it, you can also sell both physical and digital products on Etsy. And you can also use print on demand companies like Printful and Printly and all of those to also do your uh, business for you. So if you wanted to create T-shirts or banners or anything like that, you can also create stores to do that. But I like Etsy because I can create printables and digital downloads. Now, this is linked to what I've been looking at. So I've been looking at doing uh, printables for baby shower games and I I like drawing on my Procreate and I like stamps and I like, I'm into Kauai and all that. So I've been looking at different things and different planners and that is why I'm using it. So Sales Samurai, like we say, is a tool that helps you grow your Etsy business. And one of the strong points of this tool is it does a lot of keyword research for you, but you can connect all your different stores. Now, one of the things with Etsy is you can have multiple stores as long as you declare them all in your About Us page. But you need to log out of one to log back into another because you have to use different emails. You can't put it all under one email address. So this way it allows you to access all of them and upload your products or your product um, listings all at once. So here, like it says, you can discover all your keywords, you can analyze, you can implement, you can look at your competition, you can look at the people that you admire as well. Uh, it goes through about finding long tail keywords. Now Etsy is all about using long tail keywords and using tags where you put your long tail keywords in. And that is part of their search engine optimization. And they will tell you that themselves. Uh, it takes takes your research, to, you can filter, you can analyze, you can download, you can see the competition and you can learn from the best sellers. So let's go in and check this out. So inside you will see the dashboard, they, there's a Chrome extension that you can get. You can upload, use the upload tool and it comes in Windows and Mac. And then there's all these different training videos. Now, Sales Samurai is not just for the digital products or printables market. It is also for the physical market and it also talks about the print on demand market, such like as t-shirts and that like that. So you can follow the videos, they talk you through it, they train you on everything that you need to do. There's the different searching facilities, so you can do different ones here. So this is telling me it's a long tail keyword it's got an a grade there's an etsy search volume of baby shower printables of 17 so the competition is quite high on that um it's giving me the um etsy click-through rate b baby shower baby shower tags and it's telling me what people are looking for so if winter baby shower is obviously quite high up because we are in winter and then straws and for baby showers that'll be part of some sort of game um and then desert dessert dessert baby shower not desert uh blocks for baby showers so it tells me the different listings the average photographs is five and then it gives me different ones that i can go and have a look at like peter rabbit now surely that is um, trademarked and copyright so hmm, i don't know i wouldn't go with that woodland uh, i'd probably go with and then it shows you the different pricing the minimum the max and the average so the average is about seven dollars 33 shipping days now some of these in the baby shower market are not printables or digital downloads some of them are actually posted out and then there's your history so you can have a look at the different history that you've had a look at so i like kawaii so i've been having a look at kawaii 
there's only there's a small competition of um, six thousand. So it's busy doing the search for that. So we'll come back to that. But there's a if we have a look here on the search, it says six thousand six hundred thirty-nine, and then we go back to that one. We'll actually bring it up. So again, that's an A1 for long tail keyword. Etsy search volume is 35. Competition's got a green tick. So I'm giving you a niche here. Kawaii sticker planner, digital planner for Windows. So that would probably be one note. Digital Catholic planner. So that's that's something different. And the click-through rate's quite high on that. So that is a niche found there. And then you've got all the different sections with different words that you can be putting in as well. And then it gives you different examples that you can go through, like the Kawari Corgi clip art section. So you can click on that and it actually tells you the price and everything. And it, should, it takes you directly to the listings there, which is quite cute. And then um, here you can connect your shops. At the moment, I've just got one shop connected. You can connect more than one and it'll tell you your active listings, your missing tags, your total views, your missing images and your inventory. So at the moment, I'm putting loads of inventory in there and I'll make them live when I've got more than one in there. So I'll be quite happy with that. And then listing creator. And here you can do all your listings in here. So I'm just going to click next here and you can see this where it says shop. If you click on the drop down here, you will have more than one shop if you've connected all your shops and you can be uploading to every single one of your shops, putting your title in there, um, talking about whether you've did it or whether it was a print on demand company or a person or a member of your shop. You need to declare with the Etsy as well, any VAs or anybody that works on your business, you need to declare them in there as well. So finished product 2020, you know, that's what I've said it is and when I've said it is. So you can also select your different uh, categories now in the search you can actually see what categories people have got them in so you can decide from there then you can put your description in and it tells you whether you've hit the 160 characters tags is you're allowed up to 13 tags and you should have long tail keyword tags in there and then whether you've used any material what price enter quantity and then it takes you through and it checks to see if you've used your keywords, if you've used your focus keywords in your description, your focus keywords. So if I put, what have I got here? Did I think if I go back, baby shower printable games. So if I go here next, and if I put that in the title, it lights up. And again, if I put it in there, it lights up. And if I put it in the invalid tag, Baby shower. I'll take that now. The Larry baby shower. So that's one. So that's added one tag. And then I could have baby shower. Printable. See, it's gone too big. Again. So that's how I do it. And then I would do printables here. So we're getting in the words and focus keywords not used because we've got too big a focus keyword. Okay. Kawawi. There we go. And then description, we've not put enough words in. So that's how that works. And then you can do a competition tracker. So you can add different shops as well that you want to have a look at. You want to have a look at the likes, uh, listings, and you can also have a look to see what their scale is, their sales. So it's telling me, you know, today that they've had 22 sales. It's not telling me on what products, but it's, and then yesterday I 74 and on November 12th, they had 256 sales. So you can see how many active listings they've got. And then same, this one's not got enough data because I've only just added that one. And then keywords, you can have a look here and you can see different keywords as well. So that's how that works, looking at your competition. Then you can do favorites as well. You can save favorite listings and favorite keywords as well. 
and then you can do calculator now this is where you can work out the true cost so say I was selling a baby printable uh, I don't need to actually do anything with shipping because it's free it's printable so they download it and then I could give them a discount and that just gives them one percent so I could take that all the way up to ten percent discount and then um, labor costs and that you can work those all out if you want uh, off-site ads I'm not doing any so it's not percent it's already telling me it's 20 20 cents of any listing it doesn't matter how much the listings are worth it costs you 20 cents and that every time that renews it costs you 20 cents so renewing you can also do that one two so how many times so if you do one you want to see and then you can click calculate and it'll tell you how much your product is so if with a 10 percent discount it's going to be five dollars 36 my total cost is one dollar my total fees is 88 and i come out with an estimated profit of three dollars 48 if i am selling it at five dollars 95 so that is how you work that out and that's quite good you can also do a return on investment calculator this is good if you're running any ads as well so your ad spend your ad views your ad clicks your orders from your ads and to see if it's working if it's not working then you'll shut down that particular ad so that's really good and then finally there is a calendar as well which is great because it tells you all the unofficial holidays so if you're doing certain designs and things like that you could be designing say a cupcake day design a apple one a letter writing day pretend to be a time travel christmas card day all the different things out there now this is for november so a lot of these have gone but this is for december and it also gives uh, public holidays for the United States, United Kingdom, Germany as well. So Christmas Eve, Christmas Day and as we can see in the UK and Germany we've got Boxing Day, you have it in the States and then we've got Substitute Bank Holidays, that's what they call them. So that is Sales Samurai. So you can get a free day free trial with Sales Samurai to see if you like it and so that is Sales Samurai so if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and while you're here why not tick out Crispy Prints where you can actually create printables quickly and easily and start selling them in Etsy.